Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick favorites video because I haven't made a video all weekend for the holiday, you know, Thanksgiving and all that. We had the kids and it was craziness over here and then at my mom's house, so I haven't really had time or energy to film a video. So let's jump right into this favorites video. The first favorite I have, and these are for the month of October and November mostly. So the first favorite I have is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I think I've actually mentioned this in another video. And they're really hard to get open. So this is what it looks like. And I'll try not to blind you with the uh, mirror. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually wearing it right now all over, actually. Because <laughs> I love it so much. And I'll just quickly swatch it for you. You barely even have to. Are you good? Are we good? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I barely have to touch it to swatch it, really. And let's see if I can get a really close up. That's really pretty. And I've been using that pretty much like nonstop since it's just falling on my pants since I got it. And the second thing I have is Frat Boy Frat Boy Blush by the Balm. <laughs> oh my god. Frat Boy Blush by the Bomb, and I think I've mentioned this as well, probably in the same video I mentioned the last one in, and this is what it looks like, and I will not blind you guys. Ooh, I just got it everywhere. And I'm in love with this color. I'm wearing it right now. I normally tend to go towards more darker blushes, but this is like a peachy pink blush. Let me just put that down. Peachy pink, and I use it a lot, which... I don't wear a ton of blush because I have pretty rosy cheeks. Oh, my foot is asleep. <laughs> pretty rosy cheeks. Sorry, my son's trying to grab the camera. <laughs> um, next. Uh, this is actually kind of an oldie. Uh, I've been using it for, I don't know, I don't know, like three, four months. I actually got this in an ipsy bag like quite a while back actually now that i think about it but i've been using it so much i have to mention it it's the i think it's by the brand pixie yeah it's pixie and it's the mini brow trio in shades of brow i'll open it the one that i've been using the most color wise has been the darkest one here because i don't know my hair is pretty dark so i just prefer to have dark brows um sometimes i do mix the two darker shades to get more of a reddish color my hair is like bright red so you know <laughs> um the next thing i want to mention are two other eyeshadow palettes i guess i haven't mentioned my eyeshadow palette we're going good here are two eyeshadow palettes and they're both by nyx one is this one is called love in paris and it is a nine color palette this is what it looks like and it's got the traditional NYX bow on it. And these are the colors. I'm actually wearing three of these colors currently. And the two, the three I'm wearing, the three I'm wearing are these two and this one in my outer corner. So there's that. And they do look like, some of them do look to have like big chunks of glitter, but they do not. It doesn't come out on your eyes like that at all. They're very blendable. I love them. And I would swatch them, but I'm holding my son, and that's kind of hard. And then the, <laughs> the, the the second eyeshadow palette I have is also by NYX, and it's Love in Florence, and it's a five-color palette. And then that's what those look like. That top one is kind of sheeny, and this looks the same, just smaller. And then... The next favorite I have is, honestly, I've been using this for a lot more than the past two months, but I have to mention it because I'm so in love with it. It's the best scrub. It's the most tried and true scrub that I've come across that I constantly go back to, even when I try other scrubs. The only thing that might, the only thing that I think is better than this, but is way too pricey, I'm not willing to buy it on a regular basis, is the Derma E. Uh, microdermabrasion scrub but this is the saint ives blackhead clearing green tea scrub clears blackheads and calms redness and this is what it looks like and it's like six dollars not even kidding and it's amazing it smells like 
It smells like green tea, but better. I don't know. And then the next thing I'm going to mention is actually not something I've been using on myself. It's something I've been using on this little guy. He doesn't want to look at the camera. He's very dull. <laughs> and it is the Eucerin Baby Sensitive Skin Experts Eczema Relief Body Cream. Oatmeal and... I can't say that, so I'm not even going to try. This is what it looks like. It's quite a big bottle. And he gets a pretty bad eczema on his forehead. And I tried a million other things and nothing cleared it up. And as soon as I tried this, two days later, his eczema was completely gone until, of course, he scratched it. And brought it back. Brought it back. So that stuff works amazing. It's like, it's pretty pricey. It's like nine, eight or nine dollars, which, I mean, to me, that's pretty pricey. I do recommend it. It's worth the money. It works like it should. And it's worth it. And then I just wanted to do an honorable mention of this lipstick that I'm wearing that I've been in love with. And it is also by NYX. <laughs> and it's the Macaron Lippies in violet. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love it. It's super creamy and conditioning. It's not like, it doesn't, so far, it does stay pretty well unless you eat or drink. And then you, of course, have to reapply it to the middle. So it's not like a stain, but, and it's not matte. Unless you, I don't know, I, I mean, it could be sort of matte. It has, like, sort of a uh, sheen to it, I guess you could say. But anyway, those are my favorites for this month. And if you guys would like to see any more of these videos, comment down below. And I will post as many of these as I can each month. Um, also, I think I'm going to start doing... I think I'm going to start doing... Um, reviews on some of my like I'm going to do my Etsy unboxing and all that but I also have some other subscriptions that I've been doing and I think I'm going to start putting those up too so there's something to look forward uh thank you guys for watching and subscribe